Good morning. My name is Jay Siaco. My wife, Corey, and I were invited to attend St. Matthew's nearly 20 years ago. We fell in love with the people immediately, and we've been attending ever since. This morning, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking with you about stewardship, about the giving of our time, our talents, our gifts, our service, and our physical presence to St. Matthew's and to the body of Christ. I have two sons, Sam and Joseph. Sam works at a local gym, and both Sam and Joseph work out there often. A few years ago, Sam encouraged me to join the gym. He said it would improve my physical health, my mental health, and that I would actually enjoy working out. Well, I didn't believe him, and I didn't take any action. So several weeks later, my son, Joseph, encouraged me in a different way. Joseph and I liked to tease each other, so he went with that approach. He teased me to the point that I felt old, out of shape, and quite frankly, near death. I'm sure he did so with a loving heart. Well, ultimately, Sam's carrot approach and Joseph's stick approach led me to join the gym. I spent most of my time on the Stairmaster, even though I didn't call the Stairmaster at first. I called it things that I can't repeat in a church setting. Nonetheless, I started out working two days a week on the Stairmaster for 15 to 20 minutes, then three to four days a week for 20 to 25 minutes. Ultimately, I ended up working out five to six days a week for 30 to 35 minutes. Just as Sam predicted, my physical health improved, my mental health improved, and I actually enjoyed and continue to enjoy working out. My stewardship journey and experience has been much like my experience at the gym. As I've committed more time and effort to, to, to stewardship matters, my, phys, my spiritual health has improved, just like my physical health improved by going to the gym. And uh, I'm not taught when I talk about spiritual health, I'm not talking about salvation. Um, our works don't save us. We're saved by grace through faith. When I talk about spiritual improvement, spiritual health improvement, I'm talking about an increased sense of peace, about feeling closer to God, about um, a, a softening of my heart. Those are the things that I'm talking about when I talk about spiritual health improvement. So this morning, I'd like you to prayerfully consider your stewardship efforts and commitments. If your physical presence involves, like mine did initially, simply coming to a service and going home, I'd like you to consider joining a Sunday school class. It will be one of the best decisions you'll ever make. I'd like you to encourage you to attend Wednesday Night Live for a meal when those are offered again. Attend a class on Wednesday Night Live. If you want a life-changing experience, consider going on a Honduras mission trip. Your talents and your services are needed at the church. I'd like to encourage you to ask any of our pastors our staff members, ask me how your services can be used. Examples would be serving as a greeter on Sunday, helping cook meals on Wednesday night, teaching a Sunday school class, serving on a committee, or serving in any one of our wonderful ministries. Your gifts are needed. I'd like you to prayerfully consider giving if you've never given. If you do give but have not pledged, I'd like you to prayerfully consider pledging. And if you have the ability to give more or to pledge more, I'd like you to prayerfully consider doing that. I think what you'll find is as your stewardship efforts and commitments increase, your spiritual health, like mine, will improve. You'll find that you'll be a blessing not only to others, but to yourself. Thank you for letting me spend some time with you this morning. Hope you have a great Sunday. May God continue to bless you and St. Matthew's.